we have a situation. So one of our viewers sent us a series of emails, and uh, if you want, if I were to summarize the case, the she said my single member LLC forty two thousand dollars business loan application was rejected. Why? I did everything right this time. Please help. So this is the synopsis of the case. So if you're interested, please stick around till the end because we are going to spill all the beans. We are going to provide a lot of good solution ideas for our beloved viewer. Don't you go anywhere. You know, love today's conversation. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweaty Kiwi Show. How are you How are you doing today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you are to ask me. If you are doing as great and blessed as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka. Now, let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, we are speaking about the case of uh, one of our beloved viewers who said, my single member LC, $42,000 business loan application has been rejected. Why? I did everything right this time. So what's really going on here? So I'm going to actually uh, summarize the case for our beloved viewers who are really smart. And v dear viewers, we really, really, really encourage you to contribute to help out this, um, this viewer solve her problem. So we are speaking about uh, Shunhua. So Shunhua, she's 35 years, years old. She's a female. She lives in Glendale, Arizona, and she owns an Asian street eatery. So this is uh, we've heard there's a lot of money to be made to be actually be made in this industry. So so Shunhua actually lives uh, in Glendale, Arizona, and she owns an Asian street eatery, and she's married with three kids. Okay, her FACO score is very high, seven ninety eight. Okay, and her business, her uh, Asian street eatery, earned fifty eight thousand dollars last year. That's uh, revenue. This is not income. Okay, the business is six years old, so the business has been operating for the last six years, and she needs a forty-two thousand dollars business loan for expansion. So she's trying to actually scale the business, and uh, so she actually placed, she actually filed for a single member LLC, forty-two thousand business loan, business loan application, and it has been rejected. So we are going to dissect the whole thing and explain to uh, Shunhua how to actually uh, find solutions, what to do how to make sure that she gets approved, and most importantly, how she can get the funds that she needs and deserve. So again, dear members, not members, <laughs> dear viewers, audience members, please feel free to pitch in, okay? Because we look at her uh, fundamentals, I mean, a high FACO score, 798, and her inability to get uh, a business loan, we see a dichotomy here, we see a gap. So there, there has to be something so if you have experienced something similar or you know someone who has gone through something similar, please pitch in. Feel free to pitch in. Shunhua really needs your help. First things first, Shunhua, I want to ask a few questions. And see, the thing is that your FACO score is high. Yes, your revenue is good. I mean, 58 grand is good, but your income, see, there has to be something in the middle. So before you go from... Uh, revenue to income there has something in the middle this is called operational expenses so that it's very important so let me ask you a question i want to ask you a few questions that are really quite essential here all right is your business legit see the whole thing is you own an asian street eatery okay all right that's fine but um so is your alc in good standing in other words do you have a certificate of good standing do you have a registered agent? Because a lot of people believe, you know, I found my paperwork, everything is fine, whatever. You know, I, I received the registration. I did everything online or I used, um, let's say, um, a business formation service like Zen Business or LegalZoom or, or whatnot. So they send me a confirmation. So that's, that, that's it. No, it's really important that you actually uh, comply with uh, the rules and regulations and the, that you do not run afoul of any of them. Okay, so. Do you have a, a registered agent? Do you have a certificate of good standing? What about licenses and permits? I mean, especially food permits. 
when we're speaking about see you live in glendale arizona and this is uh, in uh, Mar maricopa county in maricopa county listen where Glen where glendale is located they take food permits especially mobile food permits seriously i mean they don't play they don't play in, in maricopa county so it's really important for you to make sure that you have the right licenses and permits okay do you have a business checking accounts Shunhua, i'm asking you answer me I'm, I'm asking you a direct question not trying to you don't you know please don't try to razzle dazzle me here i'm asking very direct questions because you are saying you did everything right this time when you applied but what does everything right means what does it what does that mean really okay do you have a business address or is your business address confused with your primary residential uh, address okay do you have an ein very important again we are we are we are speaking about all the paraphernalia of a good business okay those are important paraphernalia and uh, have you f have you actually filled your loan application form completely again i'm just i'm just asking those questions because when you said i did everything right this time we need to understand what right means i want you to be careful Xunhua. i really want you to be careful here because uh, is your company financially healthy Xunhua, and just answer me you know why because you are making uh fifty-eight thousand in revenue but as i said before what is your net income and most importantly we want to analyze your company's financial situation in general because if your loan application is rejected the lenders must be seeing something that is detrimental in your business loan application they might be seeing something that is dichotomous there is a conflict contradictory so you want you want to analyze the balance sheet now should why you don't have to be an expert in accounting. I'm not asking you to have a PhD in accounting. If you can't do the kind of stuff I'm telling you here, please hire someone. It's worth paying a few bucks, you know, 100 bucks or 150, whatever, having a, a CPA or a senior accountant go through your books and provide the answers to the questions I'm going to ask. So you want to analyze your balance sheet. So the balance sheet is what? Your balance sheet is your, your company's, um, that's the financial uh report that shows your company's assets liabilities and owner's equity okay so you want to analyze your balance sheet you also want to analyze your income statement Xunhua, this is very important so we so because the thing is that the lender wants to make sure that you are generating enough cash see that it's not about ink it's not about revenue it's about cash flows because you are going to need cash to repay the loan you're not going to need revenue to repay the loan and uh and i'm not going to go into a, a more uh, uh, a more advanced debate here but revenue can be manipulated a lot but income and cash for that matter cash flows cannot be manipulated especially especially if you follow the cash speaking of speak, speaking of uh, cash you want to analyze also your cash flow statements again everything i'm telling you if this sounds like a foreign language to you please you want to hire an expert so that you you want somebody who has a clear understanding of what i'm saying so you want to analyze your balance sheet you want to analyze your income statement you want to analyze your cash flow statements see the cash flow statement is actually the accounting reports that shows the liquidity trends in your business so your asian food eatery they, if you have a cash flow statement lenders can really see your cash flows from operating activities your cash flows from investing activities and your cash flows from financing activities so this trifecta is really important in uh, determining the uh, cash position that you currently have and you also want to do financial ratio analysis okay so remember the qualifications for a business loan depend more on growth in cash flow and less on revenue that's the mistake a lot of people make they believe yo you know i i make i'm making a lot of good money no you are making good revenue but you're not making net profit so you want to ask see if your if your loan application was rejected why where did you apply did you apply online or at a bank branch and uh, where do you bank at Xunhua, where do you bank at right now talk to me about that solution idea number one Xunhua. What I want you to do right now is you want to go back to the origins, quote unquote origins. I want you to check your credit score and annual revenue. So you said your you, your score is 798. Is it? 
is it is it really 798 or this is or the score is lower when was the last time you checked your FICO score because when we spoke to you we actually exchanged a series of emails our understanding was that you did not check your FICO score recently so if you check let's say if you checked your FICO score let's say a year ago and you were at uh, 798 are you still at 798 what if you are at 700 or 695 or 500 today this is important because the lenders, you see, the thing is when you have your you see, you are a single member LLC, which means what? That your personal affairs, unfortunately, are quote unquote confused with your business affairs. So lenders are going to check, lenders are going to check your, uh, your FICO score. So this is why you want to go back to, to a site like annualcreditreport.com to check your, uh, your FICO score. You can sign up for you can sign up for a free a free service a free credit monitoring service such as a nerd wallet such as a wallet hub such as a credit karma all the banks do the same thing you know all the insure the major insure, major credit unions also offer that service so it's all it's very important to make sure that you ascertain the um, the the kind of a credit score that you have okay and uh, you also want to check your business credit score maybe you also have business credit score so check your business credit scores at experian equifax and down in brass street and so in addition to your credit score i want you to double check your annual revenue so the thing here is that you have told us that you are you basically are making fifty eight thousand dollars how sure are you where did you get that number okay where did you get that number it's very important to make sure that your fifty eight thousand dollars is indeed right okay i mean how what kind of accounting what kind of accounting procedures do you have in place this is important. Do you have an accountant or do you do you keep your own books and do you use software? My whole thing is I want you to understand how you track, how you actually record, how you report data, how you track data. If, if you're using accounting software, then it's fine. You know, you can use uh, QuickBooks, Zero, Wave, Expensify and whatnot. But if you are doing things manually, then I'm interested in knowing how you actually keep tabs on your expenses and revenue items. Solution idea number two, Shunhua. What you want to do here is that you really want to um, think about your business plan. If you want your single member LLC business loan application to be approved next time you apply, please work on your business plan. The thing is, you might be thinking, hey, listen, I don't need a business plan. I'm just doing an Asian you know, Asian street eatery. People are buying Asian foods on the street and I really don't need a business plan. Wrong. If you think that way, I, you know, I'm here to tell you, Shunhua, you are wrong. You are dead wrong. Because the thing is, you are asking for a $42,000 in loan and your revenue is only 58 k Let me repeat that. So, Because I, I really want you to, I, w I want this to sink in. You are making an average, or last year you made $58,000 in um, revenue and you are asking for a $42,000 for, 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 for expansion. The gap is just too narrow. It's like, you know, you're making 10 grand and you are asking for an $8,000 in loan. This is not going to work. This is why you need to have a strong, a compelling business plan that can, uh, that can really articulate your vision for the business. And that could actually articulate to the lender that you have strong growth prospects. Okay. Very important. So you want to let the, you want to let lenders know that uh, the loan you are, you are about to get the loan will be used properly and how the company plans to grow. You should be able to thoroughly discuss the age and stability of your company in its industry. You said that you have been in operations for six years, okay? And be ready to share an update copy of your business plan, which includes projected financial statements and a plan for how long you actually will be paying the money back. So when we speak about financial statements, that's what I said earlier. You have the four, the four financial statements plus the uh, required disclosures again everything I, everything i say in this show if you do not understand please ask questions you can ask questions in the comment section you can email us to ask more questions or please just uh which is even better just hire a local cpa or a local accountant okay to provide the answer so when we speak about projected financial statements i'm speaking about projected balance sheet projected cash flow statements projected 
income statements and projected owner's equity. Okay. Don't forget to include the, re the resumes of key managers in your company. So are you are you running the business by yourself or is your husband helping you? Do you have uh, outside help? Do you have people helping you? Okay. So even with all the financial numbers and documents, one of the critical business loan requirements is proof that the people who help operate your business have the relevant experience and credentials to repay the loan. Very important. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another session of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. We are still discussing um, the case of Shunhua. And so Shunhua said that she, her single-member LLC business loan application has been rejected again. Okay. She apparently did everything right this time. But, uh, yeah, she's still just, uh, she's, she's still rejected. So solution idea number three, Shunhua, what you want to do is you want to think about, do you have a collateral? In other words, instead of just applying for a single member LLC unsecured business loan, try to collateralize the loan. In other words, your business can maybe uh, pledge some collateral, maybe uh, machinery, equipment and whatnot. OK, so because w when you really think about it, every lender wants to reduce their risk when making a loan, especially a business loan. So one of the ways that they do this is by getting additional financial co collateral that basically secures the loan in case your business fails to meet it, uh, re its uh, repayments. Because see, the thing is right now, Asian street eateries are very popular. People love Asian food. It, you know, people love street food that, that it's good. But what if tomorrow things were to happen? I mean, we just got out of, uh, we got out of a COVID, you know, and as you know, for the last two years, for the two years, people were just stranded at home, you know, I mean, they, they, so the thing is, you know, street food eateries in general have suffered. So it's important to it's important for lenders to maybe for you to collateralize the loan. And this is usually done in the form of a, a company's accounts receivable, equipment, or any other easy to sell assets. So you want to look into your, your into your balance sheet and see what you can collateralize. Okay, one of the additional qualifications for a business loan may for maybe for the company's owner to provide a personal guarantee. To, to the loan i mean are you willing to do that or you can pledge additional additional collateral such as personal real estate or other financial resources so the question is are you willing to do that okay this is really important and credit scores annual revenue business plan and collateral are the four cornerstones of uh, most business loan applications but note that there are many other supporting documents you will need to qualify for a business loan for example your driver's license any commercial leases business insurance plans and your current added financial obligations. Solution idea number four, Shunhua. I really want you to go to uh, the nearest branch of your favorite bank. You did not tell us where you currently bank at. Okay, so it's really important. So you you live in Glendale, Arizona. There are a lot of good banks in the, in the area, in Maricopa County, okay? And so it's important to actually personalize, in your case, to personalize the whole experience. Because the whole thing about applying for a business loan online, you know, you did everything right this time, quote unquote, right this time. You fill out the application and uh, your ass got denied again. It just means that you are not personalizing the, the, the application process. So to personalize the whole thing, I want you to go to your to the nearest branch of your favorite bank. Where do you bank at? Xunhua. Where do you bank at? And so this is where. So you want to go to the branch of the bank where you are putting a lot, where you are parking a lot of your cash, business-wise, but also personal. You know, your, your your personal cash. Ideally, you want to go to the branch where you have a business bank account, which you should have anyway. Okay. So you want to ask to speak to a business loan rep when you go there, and bring your paperwork. We always say this is very important. Don't just go uh, barehanded and expect people to believe you. No, bring your paperwork. This, in your case, this could be uh, this will be things at um, at the business level, your financials. So you want to print a complete set of accounting reports, the four that I just mentioned earlier. 
okay and don't forget the additional disclosures okay the assumptions that you use to prepare your uh, your um financial financial statements and you can do this for actual results but also projected results okay so we are th we, it's very important to include a prospective analysis here and bring your personal financial docs also your tax returns for example okay and uh, you want to gauge your approval odds so, so when you speak to the rep ask about your uh, approval odds okay and do the application together i want you to fill out the, the form the application form together with the rep don't do things by yourself okay you want to let the rep review what you have done and you want to submit the application only after the rep says yes you can so this is really important so the bottom line is you want to do things under the uh, the tutelage of um of an experienced uh, loan application loan rep okay and overall it is very easy to get a business loan it's if you do things right okay if you do things right if you follow all the um procedures all the instructions that we gave you in this show it is easy to get a business loan and you can get the 42k that you need and deserve for your expansion you can get it easily so i wish you all the best of luck and if, if you need uh, if you need extra help please let us know or you can comment below and uh, all other uh, viewers can pitch in Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, we spoke about the case of Xunhua, who had a problem. She actually, uh, she, her business loan application has been rejected. And hopefully we have given her all the tools and tricks and tips that she can use to get uh, her loan approved. Thank you so much. God bless you. I will see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.